Hey there fellow travelers, Mark and Jocelyn with Walter's World. And today we're here to talk about the travel ban that was announced on March 11th, 2020 by President Trump. So I guess what we should start with is what this ban is. Basically, um, anybody coming from the 26 countries in Europe that we will name in just a little bit um, are not allowed in the States, um, but Americans traveling through those countries will be allowed to come back home. Um, and there are some exemptions to this, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. And there will be different things that go into this. So what this ban is basically is a 30-day ban from 26 countries that I will enumerate right now for you. Um, and those people are, are not allowed to come into the United States. And Americans having traveled through those countries will have to go through different things when they come home. And they may have to be rerouted to specific airports. Um, for screening and things. So I'm just gonna go ahead and read off the list of countries so that we have all of that clear right from the get-go. So um, we do need to include that mainland China, that is excluding Hong Kong and Macau, and Iran have already had travel bans um, based upon um, you know the outbreaks and things that are happening in those countries. So um, right now, this ban only applies to the 26 countries that I'm gonna say now. Austria, Belgium, the Czech Republic, Denmark, Estonia, Finland, France, Germany, Greece, Hungary, Iceland, Italy, Latvia, Liechtenstein, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Malta, the Netherlands, Norway, Poland, Portugal, Slovakia, and Slovenia, Spain, Sweden, and Switzerland. Now, there are exceptions to this rule um, because there's some countries that are outside of Schengen or these, this list, for example. It's a little bit different. So the exceptions right now are um, Great Britain, that's including England, Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland, Croatia, um, Cyprus, Ireland, Turkey, and the Ukraine. So what does this mean for you? Um, if you are a European citizen from one of those countries, the ban applies to you and you are not to come here. If you are a U.S. passport holder, um, a permanent resident, or a spouse, sibling, or parent of one of those two things, um, as well as U.S. military, their spouses and children, all of you guys, you can come, th come home, you can come back to the U.S., um, but you will have to go through certain steps to do so um, if you have been traveling in any of those countries. Um, so you want to talk about the ban and when it begins and everything. So the ban begins on Friday the 13th of March at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the U.S. Um, so if you have boarded a flight prior to that headed for the United States, this ban will not apply to you. If you're going tonight, um, it, tonight is Thursday by the way, um, if you're on, on that flight now and you've come in before that time, you're okay. It's anything that has taken off after that time. So if you're not scheduled to fly it through one of the approved airports, which Joss will go through in a second, your airline will reroute you to those airports. So do you want to give those 11 um, airports? I will. And, you know, you may need to do some rebooking. So get on your app, get online, get on the phone. I hear that phone lines are tied up for literally hours. Um, so it may be best to use an app or go online. But um, they will reroute you and rebook you. Um, to one of the approved airports. And those airports are um, ATL, Atlanta, Dallas, Fort Worth, DFW, Detroit, DTW, Newark, Honolulu, HNL, um, JFK, New York, Los Angeles, LAX, Chicago, O'Hare, ORD, Seattle, SEA, San Francisco's SFO, and uh, Washington, Dallas, IAD. So those are the approved ones. Um, there will be additional screening before you get on that flight. And that's why it's really important you get there early. I mean, I don't make a joke about this, but all those dads out there that want to get to the airport like five hours early, you, they're recommending you get at least three hours early to the airport. Our friends over in Europe right now? No, they've told us the, airport, the airports are just crazy. There are a mad amount of people there, so get there early. Um, as a U.S. citizen, as someone who is coming home, I would suggest that you go to your airline and say, you know, try to find somebody, maybe not wait forever in line, try to find somebody and say, hey, I'm a U.S. Air, I'm a US citizen, I need to get home, um, and here's my information. So that might help, but get there early. 
and the airlines are really doing a lot to try to mitigate all this that's going on. Um, in the more the information below, we will put in the phone numbers and emails and websites that you can go to for United American and Delta um, because they're doing what they can to help people uh, yeah. get home. They're trying to do everything that they can. Um, so on, not only do you have additional screening on the way out on your departure from Europe, um, you'll also have additional screening when you get into the U.S. And that's why there are just those 11 um, airports. They have all been cleared to, to test people as they come in. After you are screened, you are asked to have a 14-day a self-quarantine. That means stay home, don't go out and spread any cooties that you may have. Um, unwillingly, uh, you know, that's nobody wants to, to spread anything, right? So just stay home for 14 days. And we'll actually have a video that goes through what the CDC recommends about what you should do for a 14 day quarantine. And I want to let you know, we will actually be doing videos that will be directly from the CDC's website, going through the steps they have for how to know what to do when you're, if you're going to be traveling, what a 14 day quarantine looks like, and what you should and should not do. So we will have more videos coming in the next few days that will be specifically dealing with that. So if you are worried and you are coming in, we're going to try to help you out that way so there are a few other things we want to add um, you know just about containment and you know everybody knows wash your hands wash your hands for 20 seconds I don't know about you but I've been washing my hands longer than that and I'm keeping some lotion by my sink just because yeah even 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 I'm using lotion because my hands are getting quite dry <laughs> and chat um, but this is a serious situation and we want people to know that there's a lot of information out there. That's why down below we have the CDC's website. We don't work with the CDC or anything like that. We just want to give real information out there to help people get home and get back home from their travels safely and soundly. Uh, we will be putting out videos that go through a lot of other things to help you out. Like I mentioned before with the 14 day quarantine and what you should look for. Also, uh, if you are showing symptoms, if it is a, you know, a fever, shortness of breath or cough, make sure you make contact with your healthcare provider to see what they recommend that you do just you know what this is this is a serious thing so um, we want everyone to be able to make an educated and informed decision about what you're doing and where you're going and how you're gonna do it like always that's yeah, the point that's of what, what we do is yeah. honest travel and right now it might be a little honest not travel um, but yeah. anyway that's what we want to give you right now so that is the travel ban in a nutshell and we'll have several more videos to help you get through this time Okay, so we wish you all the best. Be safe. Prayers for all of our friends around the world, whether in China, Italy, Iran, or anywhere where they're affected. Know that our heart there is with you. Yep. Our friends in Italy, I, my heart goes out to them. They're going through a lot right now. Um, so we just send our love and thanks. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Good night.